Today we are talking about Starlink taking over the world, Tesla's AI expansion, the new Tesla crypto token, and how to locate your Tesla's butthole. Yeah. That's a thing. Don't act like you're surprised. Let's get into it. Hey, Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. With the recent success of their 23rd Starlink satellite delivery mission, SpaceX have confirmed that they are now only five more launches away from reaching full global connectivity for Starlink. President and COO of SpaceX, Gwyn Shotwell, implied that full coverage is coming in just a few months. All told, of the 1,383 operational satellites launched by SpaceX in the past 17 months, about 1,369 are still in orbit. At least 1,356 are functioning as expected, and more than 900 have reached their final orbits and are operational. Another 400 appear to be in long-term parking orbits, dozens to hundreds of kilometers below their operational ceiling. The purpose of that is unclear. One thing that does does seem to be missing right now based on current satellite constellation would be coverage around the North and South Pole. Obviously, people don't really live there, so no big deal. But unless they do add satellites around the poles in these five launches, it'll be more like 99% coverage. In related news, it looks like SpaceX are intending to use the next Starship test flight to experiment with a Starlink terminal on board. According to a recent FCC filing, SpaceX are seeking permission to operate a single-use satellite terminal on the test flight. New photos from Carter Good 6 on Twitter show what very well could be a Starlink dish on the side of the new SN15 prototype rocket, and that launch should be happening sometime in the next couple of weeks. Tesla's use of artificial intelligence in its electric vehicles is about to get even bigger with a new software update coming soon. Elon says that AI will not only be steering the car in autopilot, but will now be making better decisions about about the windshield wipers, defrosters, and heated seats. Tesla decided to put its computer vision system to the test by using the vehicle's cameras to detect rain and snowfall intensity and automatically adjusting the wipers based on that information. And as they roll out improvements to the full self-driving AI system, expect to also see improvements coming to AI-driven systems like the auto windshield wipers. Tesla uses a neural net called Deep Rain to train the car to see rain on the windshield with the cameras and adjust speed accordingly. It's notoriously been pretty bad and that sucks when you don't have physical wiper controls in most Tesla cars. But new software upgrades to the car's AI system should be improving not only the windshield wipers, but also the heated seats and window defrosters and possibly even having your seat adjust for you. This update should be coming along with Tesla's shift to pure vision AI for all autopilot and self-driving functions. The radar sensors won't be used anymore and all the decisions will be made based on camera view alone. Now here's a story I admittedly did not see coming but actually makes a lot of sense and we might see more companies doing this moving forward. Tesla now has their very own cryptocurrency. The Tesla token was added on the Binance exchange and will allow users to buy fractional shares in the company using cryptocurrency. Seeing as how you can buy a Tesla car with Bitcoin and their CEO is obsessed with crypto, it's only fitting that you can now buy the stock on a crypto exchange as well. These stock tokens are a new product for Binance and Tesla are the first company to be listed. Binance described them as zero commission digital tokens fully backed by a depository portfolio of underlying securities that represents the outstanding tokens. Holders of stock tokens qualify for economic returns on the under underlying shares including potential dividends. The price of the Tesla token is linked to BUSD, which is tethered to the US dollar. The biggest advantage of buying stock as a token would be that you can choose any amount you want to purchase. One token equals one share, but you can buy whatever fraction of the token that you'd like. Stock markets are more difficult like that. If you happen to have 0.01 of a Bitcoin or half an Ethereum or whatever amount of crypto, you can just trade that directly for an equal value of Tesla. By the way, if you enjoy this this kind of quick Tesla update, then you would probably enjoy our weekly newsletter. You get all of this information we're talking about today, plus even more, and you get to see it all before YouTube. Sign up using our link in the description below. It only takes a second, just one email every Tuesday morning. We are seeing the first full teardown of a Tesla Model Y made in the Shanghai Gigafactory. 
and it's looking pretty good. The teardown was done by Zihu Automobile, no idea how to pronounce that, in China, and they found some really cool developments inside the Model Y. Firstly, they dispelled the idea that the Model 3 and Model Y are mostly the same car. It was previously believed that around 70% of the parts in both vehicles were the same, but they could only find 25% of the parts in the Model Y that matched their Model 3 teardown. Most notably, the testers found a single piece of rear casting in the Chinese Model Y, confirming that the GigaPress is up and running in Shanghai. They found that the number of connection points in the rear end of the vehicle had been reduced from around 800 down to just 50. Tesla is saying the casting process reduces the build time of the rear chassis from between one and two hours down to about five minutes. They've also said the extra rigidity from the casting allows for a more simplified suspension design that is also easier to install. Now this is not so good news. It's looking like Tesla is jacked up the prices of their solar roof installation by around 30 to 50 percent and they're not just doing that for new customers even people who have already signed deals and are just waiting on installation are now looking at significantly higher bills than what they had agreed to in the past it's a pretty sketchy move to be honest particularly because the waiting list for these roof installations is really long there are going to be a lot of people who thought they had a roof coming for a set price and are now forced to make new plans entirely and and then it also says in the Tesla update that the sooner customers are able to accept their new price, the further up the list they go. Obviously that favors people with deeper pockets and that sucks. Tesla's main reasoning for these increased prices is supposedly their new roof complexity factor. This takes into account how hard it would be to install solar on a particular home's roof. This is how Tesla describes the factor in its online quote system. Roof complexity is determined by the pitch, number of joints, chimneys and other features on your roof. Complex roofs take more time and material to install than simple roofs, which increases the total system cost. Once you place an order, our design team will use remote imagery to confirm your roof complexity and system fit. Though in reality, the price increase seems to be pretty consistent for just about every customer, regardless of how their roof was designed. I don't know, having to increase the price going forward because costs went up or whatever is one thing. Going back to people who signed on a year ago and telling them their bill just went up by tens of thousands and they have to rush to accept that or lose their spot in line, that's garbage no matter who you are and we're not happy about it. Now this is a weird one. We have a new option for the Tesla Model 3 up here in Canada. It's a low low range configuration that only gets you 151 kilometers on a full charge. On the Tesla order page, we got this new box under the standard range model that tells me I can limit the range if I choose. When you click that box, it drops the purchase price down from 52,990 Canadian dollars to 46,389. That's just 36,867 US dollars for comparison. I don't know why our dollars are worth so much less. It, Kind of sucks, but sometimes it's good when you get paid in US. Anyway, apparently this is an electronic limitation of the range, not a different battery pack or anything. The acceleration and top speed remain the same as standard plus, and this option removes autopilot from the car as well. Though I do have the choice to buy the autopilot back for $4,000. One thing I did notice while poking around in here, we can buy full self-driving in Canada for 10,600. That equals 8,425 in US dollars. So at least we get a deal on something up here. Now it is a pretty weird deal. The reason they're doing this is because the Canadian government introduces a $5,000 tax credit for EVs, which is awesome, except the base price of the car has to be less than 45 grand and no more than 55 with options added. The Tesla still fits in the bracket because it has delivery fees and other crap rolled into the price and those don't count. So I could buy back my autopilot and still get my tax break because it's an option now. But what good is the car driving? driving itself if we can't freaking go anywhere because the battery is going to die. It's all kind of screwed up, mostly on the government's part. They capped the price at 45 and you can't even buy a good car for that amount. People think we have it good because we live in Canada. I don't know. We've got our problems too. It's weird up here. Delivery times for the refreshed Tesla Model S and Model X continue to be pushed back. Now quoting May to July for arrival. That's a bit of a setback for Model S buyers who were originally told the long range and plaid variants would be ready for April 
especially after Elon went on Twitter and told everyone that the Plaid Model S would even be ready for March. That's called a overpromise and underdeliver, and that's a thing you're not supposed to do in sales. It makes the customer upset. You're supposed to do the opposite of that, but I don't know if anyone's told Elon. It's not clear what the reason is for the holdup. We were told that retooling of the production line was nearly done back in February, and there were changes made to all of the models, but nothing is radically different this time around. People are thinking it might be software because the display orientation was flipped from vertical to horizontal and everything needs to be redesigned. I don't know, maybe. It's kind of frustrating to see, that's for sure. Almost as frustrating as the lack of answers around the new steering yoke thing and whether that's real or not. Tesla Roddy spent the day calling around to different Tesla dealers and asking them what was the deal with the yoke steering wheel on the Model S. And apparently they got all kinds of different answers depending on who they talk to. So no one really knows at this point. It's not an issue with the NHTSA either. They said there's no problem with the yoke design. This is one of those situations where it feels like Tesla could really use a marketing team or PR, or maybe they could just let us know and then we can let you know. That, that works for us too. All right, it's time for the story we teased at the beginning beginning, which I know you've all been waiting for, the butthole Easter egg. I can't believe I'm even saying this right now. Tesla owners have discovered an Easter egg in the software that reveals where the car's butthole is located. Somehow, I, I don't even want to know how, it has been discovered that if you use the voice command open butthole in a Tesla vehicle, the charging port will pop open. It's real, it's been duplicated by other users, you can also tell your car to close butthole and the charging port door will close. And if you smoked a lot of weed in the 90s and still think this is funny, you can even say open bunghole and close bunghole and that will do the same thing. Now we all know who put that there and why he did it, Elon Musk is a space alien and he thinks this is just all hilarious. Quick reminder to sign up for our newsletter for more Tesla news and speculation. There's a link down below, theteslaspace.com. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.